I don't know if you've ever had a dragon fruit before. You know, but I'm looking forward to seeing what happens to these little black seeds that Bree picked out of this dragon fruit. And this little black seed really, you know, if we could, we could accidentally probably throw this thing into the garbage, this pile of little seeds, we can accidentally throw them because they look useless, they look pointless, there's nothing to them. But if you ever look at a dragon fruit, a dragon fruit plant, you begin to say, man, that's an amazing thing. That's like almost like a glorious plant if you, if you look at it, you know, and, and see a picture of it. It's an amazing thing. And it comes from this little seed. Peter, James, and John, as they're up on this mountain watching this transfiguration, they're like, that can never happen to me. But what I think Jesus is trying to say is this can happen to you. This glorious splendor can because it's within you. Remember I was telling you that Jesus didn't receive anything from Moses or Elijah? Like they didn't impart anything to Jesus because the power that was already in Jesus transfigured out of him. Within this little seed, this little dragon fruit seed, is the power to create a dragon fruit plant. But here's the thing. It has to be planted it has to be watered. It has to be nurtured. Here's the thing about ourselves. It says in the scriptures that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead, which I'm guessing is the same power that transfigured him into a glorious creation, is in us. The same power that created this dragon fruit plant is in the dragon fruit seed. The same power that is in Jesus is in us. But for it to happen, it must be planted, it must be watered, it must be nurtured. And the way we do it is ourselves. Here's the thing, here's the key of this. If we want to be transfigured like Jesus, now I know, don't know what the scenario looks like for us each to be transfigured, but I know that we are all called to something special. That we must allow ourselves to be planted, nurtured, watered. How does this happen? By daily scripture reading, by daily Bible reading, by daily time with God. These are the things that water us and we become a glorious creation. 